Well, good evening, everybody, and we welcome you ringside. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we're just about ready for action. EA Sports presents 12 Rounds of Boxing. He's making his way. Well, they're scheduled to go to full 12 here tonight. Round one now underway. You see what happens when he commits to the uppercut. Look at that. Great work there. Good flush shot upstairs. Teddy, do you ever get the sense when you see a guy who has good defensive movement with his head that it can also become predictable to his opponent? Yeah, sometimes if you make that head movement from too far away, you can get time. You have to be close enough to draw the punch, kind of like a batter in the batting box in baseball. You have to wait until the ball starts to break. If you start swinging too soon, you're going to miss that ball. You got to be close enough to get hit. And just before you get hit, then you move your head. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. 90 seconds to go here in this round. That's a big uppercut that just crashed home. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Good job. It was sudden. It was fast. It was direct by Merciless. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Keep your hands up. Was just off the mark. Wow, look at that. Trading shots. Committing well now to that left hand over the top. Last 10 seconds of this first round. And now you see the southpaw pulling the trigger with the straight left. Double back jab. That will put us in position. Here we go. Round two is underway. He brings a big power pump. That was a left hand that came raining in on him. He does not look good right now. Expect him to clinch. And right from the start, he's throwing the power punches and landing them. I think he has a date and he wants to get to it. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. Scores up top with a left. Oh! A good knifing punch. That back power hand just scored the knockdown. One, two, three, four, five. Down he goes. Now up he gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's going to have to grab on. Kill a little time. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Nice work with the left hand. Oh, good exchange there. Well off the mark by Merciless. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Teddy, I've heard you say it many times before, but the better fighters have a wide array of punches. Yeah, well, you have to because obviously your opponent is going to adjust to what you're doing. You want to keep them off balance, stay effective. Snaps that jab out. That wasn't able to land. And that's the end of round two. So early on here, this fight is showing us that there's one clear-cut advantage. 
his opponent can hit him from the outside whenever he wants to. Well, what it's also showing me is that this guy is harder to miss than he is to hit. Body, body and hit. Double up your punches. Double up your body punches. Then you can. He's got to find a way to get through the early goings here of this round. Remember last round, he went down. He was on the canvas. Now, look, he wants to tie his opponent up. That's the best way to get through it right now. But what he doesn't want to do, Joe, is to reach in there, you know, reach out to grab this guy, and then he leaves himself open. He's got to make sure that his opponent's close enough. When he goes to grab him, he's not exposing himself to get dropped again. Good looking right hand after he got hit. Not hitting his mark there, going upstairs. Brings the hook that time. Nice block. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Good smooth work by Merciless. That's Classic counter-punching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. Now, this is impressive stuff right here because he's showing us that he can counter his opponent perfectly. And you don't have to be a big banger when you're a good counter-puncher because now you're catching the guy coming in and you're catching him real clean. So you're going to be really effective. Pace yourself. He missed that uppercut. There's a nice left hand able to get in. Solid uppercut. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Unable to connect by Merciless. Last 10 seconds. Come on, kid, focus. And this round comes to an end. Round number four is underway. A chance for us to look at Teddy's scorecard. And obviously, the round to circle there, you see the knockdown was scored. And that's how professional boxing is supposed to be. The guy who lands the cleaner, more effective punches, he gets an advantage. He gets an extra score. Question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught, have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're going to find out right now, he needs them right now. Crashes home with the uppercut. Right hand by Merciless. Yeah. Scored well with that straight left. That punch just close. up nicely gets rid of his opponent's body shot you're doing great just missed scoring with that punch good one too by merciless fourth round now with his last 10 seconds wow he goes down oh he may be close here can he 
survive the round. The ref stops the fight. Merciless is smashed, and he can't get up. Unable to beat the count. Ladies and gentlemen, by knockout, your winner, the Thunder. I never saw that coming, an early knockout victory. That's a stunner, Teddy. So as I look at it